Hello Lola's. So I'm here with a quick video just to introduce you guys to baby Emmanuel. I know you guys haven't really properly met him. He is a big boy. <laughs> he is like about 25, 26 inches. Um, he has on a, this diaper is just like these pants. He got a fat stomach. I waited him to be a little chubby chub to match his chubby limbs. Um, so, and he still, he has movement to his head. He's not stiff though. Um, so he's very cuddly. He is the Jalen sculpt by Laura Tudor Ross. Um, and Jalen, Anthony, I think Dominic, those three babies look like my family. So, um, this one in particular looks so much like my baby cousin when he was around this size. Um, and he was a younger, a very younger baby. I don't know, maybe crawling, maybe walking, maybe crawling. I don't think he was walking yet. I'm not sure. Can't remember. Um, but I didn't really see it until I picked out a hairstyle for him to be rooted. He was originally supposed to be a boy and then I saw a girl. But when the rooter finished rooting him, I said, oh my God, he's definitely a boy. And then I saw it. I was like, oh my God, it's my cousin. Um, so another story, you know, I always got stories. I think I'm getting old because I always have a story. Guys, before I finish this video, guys, if you would, please give me a subscribe. <laughs> no, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. So, um... So anyway, um, my baby cousin, um, I used to babysit him when I was little. And when he was little, of course I was older than him, and him and his sister. Um, he's my favorite, one of my favorite aunts. I have favorite aunts. <laughs> um, the um, son, and um, he was 18, and it just turned 18, and we just gotten back from Canada and uh, New York, and he um, got killed in a car crash, long story short. And um, so um, when I saw that, I couldn't sell him. So I was like, you know, I have to keep this baby because I said, that's, it's just ironic that, you know, he turned out to look like him because that's, that wasn't what I was aiming for. I mean, he looked so much like him to his, his kind of, Kind of scary a little bit. Um, so my aunt came over for Thanksgiving. And um, I, I don't think she initially saw it, but she thought he was really cute. And um, she, she, I was supposed to make her a baby, but she said, no, 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 no. She said she wants, she had told me she wanted a sleep baby. This was before she saw him. And then she says, um, she said, oh, I like him, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Next thing you know, she said, Oh, no, I could, t I could, I could take him. That's what she said. I could take him. And I said, um, but he's awake. So my mom said, no, you can't have no one because she's not going to give him to you because you're not going to love him because he's awake. And she, and she just, she got so comfortable with him. It was so funny. She was sitting there walking around with him on her hip, like a real baby. She had him on her hip in the kitchen, fixing herself a plate and it was so funny like she was walking around and my grandma go I don't know what you think but that girl ain't about to give you that baby and it was just so funny it was just it was just funny and um but the family loved him and I know the family loved him because they're not collectors like us so they don't understand how you kind of gravitate towards you know what's familiar to you and so that's that's I'm pretty sure that's what it was about so um, yeah, so, um, I'm trying to decide if I could let him go. Like, I really love his hair. I love the, the, the curl pattern and the, the, the texture of the hair. Um, me and the Ruta really worked hard on trying to find a hair that was going to look. I don't, I know a lot of people are using the human hair in the baby's heads now, but when my babies are like small or like this, like if they're not like standing toddlers, I, me personally, I don't like human hair in my babies. 
and maybe because I just haven't seen it to where it's soft enough or it you know lays the way that the mohair does but I just prefer the soft finer strands of hair than the thick human hair um in my baby so we worked hard to find a mohair that would would work and um because I kind of wanted that you know that that you know baby fro look and she did she did it and it it, it turned out perfect so um so I was happy about that so this is and my aunt said she would name him Emmanuel and so I just said okay his name is Emmanuel and even if he stays with me he is Emmanuel so I'm really thinking that you know I, I promised her that I would make her a baby at some point um that maybe maybe for Christmas she doesn't watch my channel so I know she won't see this so um maybe maybe I'll give it to her for Christmas I don't know it's just it's hard for me it's like I'm already giving away one of my babies and then now you know it's hard for me to give away another one that's very sentimental to me so but I could probably make it again I probably can make me another Jalen um to look similar and I think that's what I'll do I think I will give give her him and buy me a kit and just wait till I have time to reborn it again for myself by the same color eyes and stuff like that and um, I definitely will paint it differently this time though um, because I, ha I have a, a vision in mind but this is him this is his little feet you guys seen him as a girl originally uh, before he was like put together and he have I painted inside his mouth very detailed um his little I don't know if you guys can see well like let's see uh maybe not maybe 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 not no nope. you can't see his gums but yeah I painted his little gums his gums look really real and then his little tongue in his mouth so I I've I've found this new fascination with the insides of the mouth and like I do with hands and feet so beware guys I'm gonna be like oh look at the mouth you guys like so what who cares so <laughs> so um and I liked his lip color so I just you know I'm just experimenting with different things and different colors and different details that I do with my babies now and I'm just having fun with it I'm just having fun with the art everything I gotta find him something else to wear and this diaper might just be too bulky but anyway he's a he's a chubby boy see I'm a chubby boy he's not weighted light either but he's not like overly heavy but he's he's a chonker he's a chonker so um I weighted him where he could sit up but his head will still lean into you and stuff like that you know what I mean Waiting is so important. I said this in my last video. It's so important to me. I cannot, I repeat, I cannot bond with it all. I don't care how beautifully painted it is. I don't care how much I love it. I cannot really love it, love it until it's weighted properly. It has to feel real. It has to feel right. I will reweight a doll 20 times. I remember I had one doll. I bought about eight different bodies. And every time I would just keep and keep until I finally got it. And then I sold it. <laughs> I'm such a painter that you know what. But that was, the one that I, that I had that issue with, a lot of it was the sculpting. It had those long arms that was too long. It was sculpted with too long of arms. And I had to find a body that would make it look more proportionate. So I worked so hard on all that. And by the time I got through it, I finally got it right out. I was exhausted. And, um, I mean, I still enjoyed it, but it was like, eh, give me something else. <laughs> I'll take that one over there. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the way I used to be. I could do that. Oh, you know what? I thought, you know, maybe his eyebrows actually are not that bad in person. So I can't I worry about, uh, I'm just not, I'm still working on eyebrows, but these actually... I did stroke them pretty decent with the paintbrush. They actually kind of look like they might have if they were really like not painted. 
so those they actually came out pretty good in, in person i'm always trying to get them exactly the same but it's just it's hard to do and um i guess we don't actually get um i look at like gabby eyebrows and other babies eyebrows and they're not exactly the same so i don't know but i i'm gonna go <sighs> See, I don't know if y'all notice, but after I do a video, some of you guys don't notice that I do videos back to back though. Like, even though you might see them spaced out. So this is my second video. And I'm very, it's like I'm starting to relax. It's a little wound up. When I first get up and start doing the videos, I'm a little wound up, like I'm not as relaxed. I'm just ready to do a video. I wanna do a video. But as I start doing the videos and start, you know, holding the dolls and stuff and talking about this hobby and stuff, I begin to get very relaxed. <sighs> Sorry. I get very relaxed. And then by the end of the video, it's like I want to go back to sleep. The bad part is, is that a lot of times I, I time myself. I get up an hour early before time for me to really get up for work. And so... When I get doing this, it's time for me to get up and start getting ready for work. So I don't have time to lay back down. So on the weekends, it's perfect because I can actually go back and lay, lay, lay back down. So I don't know, it's a, a very funny thing. But um, that's why, like I said, I tell, I'm going to say it a thousand times. This is one of the best hobbies. It doesn't hurt anyone. People can judge us. They can say what they want to say. You know, oh, you're crazy. They're treating those dolls like, like they're real kids and this and that. But let me tell you something. It's like the safest hobby and it's so calming. It really is. Like, yeah. Witcha, witcha, witcha. Those eyes. Oh, my God. Just got the cutest little eyes. Look at him. Look at that the baby. Uh, he has a really nice, really, really real, realistic skin tone. My mom says, oh, you're getting better at those skin tones. And I'm like, yeah. And this time I did, with this one, I did take a tip from my, um, my daughter on the one of the undertones I used on him and um it does does work it does give it a more realistic look so um that did work um but yeah I'm 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 trying some new things in these babies that's coming out that I'm working on so I'm hoping to get to a point where the skin tone just looks so real um I probably shouldn't share this or say this, but I, um, when I was painting, sometime when I paint, well, I think I've already said this before. I will, never mind, I won't tell y'all what I do, but it's a secret I do to try to make sure that I'm getting a realistic skin tone. It's a weird thing, but I won't, I, I guess I shouldn't share that. But anyway, look at this. See, he's just meant for for me, but maybe just for the family. Oh, I just love him. Doesn't he look so cute? Oh, he looks just like he's supposed to be here. He's just supposed to be here. Some of these babies, I, I promise, they're... You, you start out painting and thinking one way. Because I originally was going to paint him a light-skinned baby. And then I said, no, I'm going to go dark. I'm going to try to go darker. And then, you know, you just, then I said, oh, I don't know about that. And you just, they just have, to, they take their own, own way. And they just turn into something, something magical most of the time. Sometimes they turn into monsters and you're like, okay, this is going to be an alternative baby. <laughs> Let's just make this one a clown. <laughs> We'll call this one the Grinch. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. I I'm I'm excited. I, I'm I don't know, but I've just been enjoying it. 
the painting part. Oh, I just love him. He's so snuggly. I, you know, I like when a big baby can still be cuddly. That is like so cool. Okay. All right. I should go. My buzzer is going off. See you guys later. Tell them bye, Emmanuel. Say bye bye. Say, I don't know if I'll get a couple more videos and pictures in before I go off. I might go off. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> All right.